Well, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at exactly how we can connect a pair of AirPods to either our Xbox One or to an Xbox Series X or S console. Now, I've talked about this a lot. The you know settings and everything haven't really changed too much, but it's really good to go ahead and refresh these. There's so many more AirPods that have came out, the AirPods Pros and AirPods 3s. Now to get started, you will have to go ahead and pretty much understand the layout. We will be basically having a middle device or a middle man device that's going to communicate from our Xbox to that device and we'll be connecting our AirPods to that device. So essentially we can use our iPhone, Android, iPad, tablet, whatever it is. Basically we're going to be streaming our Xbox One or Xbox Series X or S to our iPad or iPhone or Android, Samsung, whatever it is. And then we can go ahead and connect our AirPods to that device. And from there, we can go ahead and remotely use our device. We can play our you know, games to our TV as well. So there's a lot of different things here. But the first thing I'd recommend doing is seeing if your specific monitor, TV, whatever you're using, if it actually has Bluetooth and or you know headphone capability built in. There are so many TVs and monitors out nowadays that you can actually go ahead and just pretty much connect your specific you know AirPods to your monitor without having to go through your specific console. So that's the first thing I'd recommend doing. If that is not the case, then we're pretty much going to have to move on from here. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is going through and going on your Xbox One or Xbox Series X or S, and you want to enable your remote connection settings. So to do this, you want to click into your settings of your Xbox One or Series X, and you want to go ahead and click under devices and connections. You want to click some remote features, and you want to enable the remote features that you see on your display. This is the easiest thing to do. It'll take two seconds. When you go ahead and do that, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone or Android or whatever other device you had, and you want to go ahead and boot it up. And all you want to do is download the Xbox Remote Play application for your Android or your iPhone. Now, I will go ahead and leave links to both these apps in the description, so you can just download them from there if you want to. And once you have the Xbox the application downloaded on your device, all you have to do here is sign in with the same exact credentials that you had on your specific you know, Xbox. So the same email, the same password, the same everything. You want to go ahead and make sure you have all those things set up as well. Now, before we get super far into it, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and connect our AirPods to our iPhone or Android, basically the you know phone or tablet that has that application built in. You want to go ahead and connect your AirPods to it, and then you will you know probably hear your AirPods, or if you're playing music, you'll hear it from the background. But then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect your Xbox within the settings to your actual Xbox. So typically, if you sign in with the same account, you should automatically see your Xbox available. If not, you will have to go and click on the Xbox button. It's basically on the top right corner. It looks like an Xbox with wireless signals emitting from it. You want to go ahead and click on there, and it's probably going to either, you know, kick you into the remote play application portion of that app, or it's going to go ahead and tell you to set up your console. If it tells you to set up your console, just go ahead and go through the instructions. It's very basic. As long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi connection of that Xbox, you'll pretty much be good to go. If you're having issues with it, I'd recommend Googling it. It's super easy to basically go through and fix it. Now, at this point, what you want to do is if it kicks you straight into your Xbox home screen, then you're pretty much good to go. As soon as you see your Xbox home screen, you should then be able to go ahead and hear everything from your Xbox to your AirPods. And it's really that basic. And as a plus, you'll be able to actually play your games if you want to on your Android or iPhone wirelessly as well away from your console. As long as your console turns on, you can pretty much access it wherever you want to. So that is pretty much how to do it. Again, it's a pretty big workaround. If you have access to your monitor, I would recommend just going through and plugging in you know, your headphones that way or wirelessly connecting them that way. But this is a really decent alternative that many, many people use. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.